This is the video review for Transformers Energon Hotshot. I gave Armada Hotshot not a positive review, but not a negative review. I liked that figure, but this figure, this figure right here, this figure is shit. The car mode, it doesn't have as many blatant problems, but the overall thing doesn't look near as cohesive. You have weird inset door panels. You have weird things hanging off the back. You see a bunch of robot junk inside because they didn't they didn't put windows here with dark tint or paint. And he doesn't hold together very well. I mean just taking off his weapon, there was just so much oof. I mean, at least Armada Hotshot's vehicle mode was solid. Nothing was going anywhere once everything was hooked together. But this guy, ugh. This guy is a piece of shit. He does roll better, though. Though only slightly. Transform him. Bend this. Pull these back. Extend the legs. Fold these up, fold out his toes, and split the legs, fold up these doors, then take the arms out, and then you have this really weird thing where, yeah, he also has an opening hood and an engine, that's actually pretty neat. He has this really weird thing where you rotate this engine piece around and then you use that to deploy his head. And I don't know, it, it's... I don't know why that was done. It seems like there could have been any number of better ways to do that just be, just by having like a slider switch here. Now, I, I actually do know why it was done. It was for the power links gimmick, but... Ugh. Anyway, here he has... Here he is in robot mode. He's got a bunch of kibble hanging off his back. Not that big of a deal, but... Something better could have been done with that. And then he has these things, which don't plug in and just wiggle all over the place on his shins. I mean, if they just went down lower, it wouldn't be as much of a problem. But here you can get leverage on them too easily just by gra grabbing it. And if you see, while I'm trying to split his legs, his pelvis is splitting, and this is another thing for his power links gimmick. And here it's, I mean, I understand the head, but here it's unforgivable. There should have been a peg here to keep that all together, but there's not. And then you get his arms, which have the exact opposite problem of Armada Hotshot's arms. Armada Hotshot can only go side to side like this. This guy can't really go side to side because it'll pop back to forward. Or to a straight. But he can go forward. But the thing was with Armada Hotshot, you had the elbows, so you can still get his arms going forward. Here, you can get his arms going way forward, but he can't get any out motion. And it's kind of a big deal because he has these things that always bang into them. And it, it, also, if you just have a guy whose arms stay by his sides like this, that tends to look a lot bo really boring because there's not much variance in what he's doing. And then like with our Ma'ada Hotshot's head can't turn. Well, unless you do something like this, but that is creepy. So, there you have it. Really poor figure. He has a gun right here. Goes in. Fires and, and that's about it. He's a boring ass figure. Oh yeah, and these these knees these are ratcheted with soft ratchets. That means that not only are they going to get loose over time, but while they're still tight, you don't get much use out of them. And because they're so high, I mean it. These are like a cross between knees and thighs because of how low they are. How low and high they are, so this guy just sucks.
I mean, I get the hate for Armada Hotshot, but it's nowhere as bad as what this guy deserves. This guy is the real Armada Hotshot. He is the real horrible figure. Thank you for watching. <laughs> that was satisfying.